friends welcome back to another video i need to prop you all up on a tripod because my arms are so sore from working out my shoulders and my chest at the gym this morning we are spending the next couple days doing some preparations for my bachelorette and i'm so excited it's going to be kind of like a crafty bachelorette i'm making a ton of things for it including all of my outfits and all of the little gifts that i'm giving my bridesmaids who are all going to be at my bachelorette i'm so excited it's going to be in new york city which is basically just a little staycation for us we all live in the new jersey new york area so it's gonna just be like a cute little really tame wholesome, wellness-related, crafty-related bachelorette, and I'm so excited. In my previous two vlogs, I did make one dress already, and it's this, like, really cute sparkly dress. I also posted a reel on Instagram and TikTok, so go check that out if you haven't yet, but I'm obsessed with it. And that got me into the mood of, like, continuing to create my different outfits for the bachelorette. I already have this idea of doing, like, an off-the-shoulder, like, white sweater because it is going to be, like, kind of cold this weekend, which is when my bachelorette is. It's in three days and so i wanted to be comfortable obviously so i'm going to make a little white sweater and then also a slip maxi skirt which i think will be really cute i have the perfect fabric for both of those projects let me actually show you this one i might have showed literally last year when i first got engaged i went on this huge mood fabrics like shopping spree and bought a bunch of like really cute white type fabric to make bridal outfits out of and i was going to make like something else out of this but I think I really want this to be a maxi skirt. I think that'd be really cute. It has like these really pretty florals on it and it's silk. It was like kind of expensive, but it's from Mood and I trust their quality and I was really excited about it. So I'm going to use this. And then for the sweater, that's going to be like an off the shoulder sweater. I have this stretchy knit that I got years ago, probably. It's from a fabric warehouse here in New Jersey. And I talk about it all the time because it's my favorite. And I actually haven't been in a really long time. But it's like kind of stretchy. I think it'll be perfect for one of those like off the shoulder moments. I have already made a sweater with this pattern before. It's called Chamberlain, Chamberlain Sweater, I believe, I think, on Etsy. It took me like 40 minutes. It was so quick. Um, so I thought I would make this just to have it um yeah that'll be my outfit for day two and then for day three i'm thinking of doing some sort of like brunch dress because we're only going to be going to brunch that day um basically i don't really know exactly what i want to do for that yet so i'm thinking of going to the thrift store this morning to like gain some inspiration to get out of the house a little bit and today and tomorrow and the next day i think are supposed to be gloomy which is kind of sad but we're working with what we've got i think it's supposed to rain potentially like 50 percent chance rain um, throughout the like most of my bachelorette i was upset about it at first and now i'm kind of like it is what it is. Let's just make the most of it. Oh, I did order a white jacket from Naked and a KD is the name of the brand. I haven't opened it yet, so maybe I can open it right now and we could do like a live reaction. What is my hair doing? I've never ordered from this brand before, but I've heard about it a good amount. Oh, it's not like a white, white jacket. It's like kind of beige, but I thought that would be better than like a black coat and because I literally only have black jackets and i wanted to go with the whole like white or light theme i don't know if this could end up being not that great i just return it but let's see although i think it's going to be in the 40s and 50s so that's like not too cold at least for me oh. all right well i'll have to think on this for a little bit because i don't know if it's worth it i'm not sure okay i decided i don't really love it i don't know i'll think about it a little bit longer but I think I'm going to go to the thrift store and try to find a white jacket too to use for this weekend because I'd rather thrift something for like, even if it's like $10, $20, like a little bit more expensive for a thrift store, I'd rather thrift a jacket than spend, I think I spent like $80 on this. Again, still not like that expensive for a long jacket, but <sighs> there's also like little issues like this buttonhole is not made the best way. I don't think these pockets are real. So let's go thrifting. <laughs> I thought about it and just to feel the teensiest, tiniest bit more productive, I'm actually going to cut out the pieces of the off the shoulder top first before I head out. This is the fabric. I have a ton of it. Honestly, I'm still going to have a lot more once I'm done with this top. And this is the pattern <laughs> that I have cut out. I actually already made a top that was gray with gray knit fabric and I made it and went on a little like fall foliage cruise on the hudson river i also have a an instagram reel about that or a tiktok about that and it was really cute i really liked it i think off the shoulder just like flatters me very well 
Um, so I think I'm gonna feel like really good and comfortable in something like that. But it's stretchy, it's like a little bit see-through, but the part that's like across here off the shoulder, it has like another flap to add another layer. So I think this will be good. And I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so that when I have a maxi square like as the bottom, I have like a vision. I don't want it to be tucked in. I want it to kind of just like lay on top as if I'm like covering up the top of a dress. We'll see, we'll see how this works. store was somewhat of a success somewhat not a success i'm eating my good things right now this is the garden veggie flavor and i really like it sometimes it kind of tastes like cardboard to me but sometimes it hits and right now it's hitting i did get some things at the thrift store so let me show you as you saw i did find a white jacket it was a puffer coat but that wasn't exactly the vibe i was going for also it was a size large it was 25 dollars, but i think it was also like 50 percent off so it would have been like 12 dollars ish that would have been a good deal but I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I might consider doing this coat again. We'll see. There's still a couple more days to my bachelorette, so I might like go to the local thrift store that's like close to me that I can walk to and check it out there and see if they have something. But I did find some other things that I'm gonna show you. For my bridal shower, it's gonna be crafty themed. <laughs> so it's gonna be like a crafty ever after themed bridal shower. We're just gonna do crafts together me and my friends it's gonna be so fun and i needed to get some like little bits of decor for that and i've been keeping that in the back of my head every time i go somewhere that might have like really cute little trinkets and like little pieces of decor so i was thinking about that and i found a bunch of things that i think match that and then also like a couple other like fabric related things i found this little boot how cute is this so cute yellow was 25 percent off so this was like three three dollars or something of that sort um so cute i could put like markers and sharpies and stuff because i'm gonna have a lot of like crafting artsy related supplies that people can use and also i think i might just keep this in general because of how cute it is and uses decor put a plant in here like whatever along the same lines i got this really plain but like very pretty purple vase also i can use this for my plants after the bridal shower these two are beautiful I love that. I love the little like bow detail with the blue flowers and the gold like trim. And then I also found this bed sheet which is very pretty and also is the same like vibe that I'm going for for my honeymoon. Like this one honeymoon 
dress that I really want to make. It's so soft and it's like a pale yellow, almost like a beige yellow and the flowers on it are very pretty. And this is a good amount of fabric and it was only $2. I can't believe that. I love thrifting. Next thing is I also got this slip that is a contender for my getting ready slip that I want to wear. I do want to put something over it and probably under it because this is like kind of see-through obviously because it's basically lingerie. Um, but I think it could be cute to wear this with like some sort of sheer robe or maybe satin robe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but green was 50% off. So this was to one. 75. Wild. I think it's pretty and I'm excited for this to potentially be my getting ready outfit. Getting ready for my wedding, by the way. And that's all I got. Oh wait, just kidding. Also got this. It's a really cute frame. I am also going to have like some frames at my bridal shower and also I just wanted my own frame to put like a cute picture in it. Um, but I can put like the directions on how to make whatever like I don't know I'm trying to think of like a craft that we can do like friendship bracelets or something or even I think I'm gonna do like a flower bouquet making corner and I could put like the directions in here that could be cute or even a picture of me and Josh like we'll see but I love that these colors are all really like kind of pastel but kind of like bold at the same time I think they look really cute together <laughs> that's basically it and I'm really happy but I didn't get the white jacket, so I'm kind of upset about that. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on making that white sweater top that I already cut the pieces out for. And also, like, printing out the pattern for this bias skirt. I really don't need a pattern for it. I can just, I can just make the skirt. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of nervous because I should obviously use a pattern and I'm pretty sure I have one but I don't know if it's like a good one. A good one as in like I made it myself but I made it like a really long time ago and I didn't know too much about pattern making so I don't think it's that good. The Etsy pattern I think is on sale right now for like two or three dollars. I might just pay for it and then use that pattern, tweak it a little bit if it doesn't like fully fit me and then like have it forever. I think that's what I'm leaning towards um, but I want to make both those things today if possible. I hope. It's like so gloomy. I felt like I had some like low blood sugar while I was at the thrift store so I came home and like ate a good amount of stuff, like a good amount of snacks and I'm still like chomping on my, where are they? My good things saving me right now. So I don't know, I'm kind of like in the mood to just chill because of that and read my book. As you know, if you've been following along with the vlogs, I'm back on my reading kick and um, I'm a little bit obsessed with the series I'm reading right now. It's the Akatar series and I'm on book two, halfway through. I just want to finish it just because I really want to know what happens. I kind of already know, like I can kind of guess what's going to happen, but I'll, I want to see like how they get there, you know? Oh, I think I'm getting a ginormous Amazon order coming in, like being delivered today because I ordered a ton of things for my bachelorette. A few decor items, but mainly the gifts that I want to put into my bridesmaids tote bags or... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm like gonna do the tote bags. I want to, but we'll see. But they're just like little gifts for being my friends and coming to my bachelorette. Bachelorette. <laughs> I have a hard time saying that word, but I'll show you that when it comes in. I'm really excited about it. But that just got me really excited to maybe start the tote bags because I did design it already. It's basically just the t-shirt design that I'm giving them. A little bit simplified because I will be cutting out with my Cricut versus the t-shirts I ordered DTF transfers for. If you're confused about what I'm saying, watch the previous vlog <laughs> because I explained everything there. I made the t-shirts in that video and everything. But long story short, I have these t-shirts for my bridesmaids that I made using DTF transfers. I designed this on Canva and it has a front and a back. I just got blank t-shirts and put the designs on it. I love it. But basically this design I simplified slightly so that I can easily cut it out with my Cricut and um, weed it out a little bit easier. And then I plan on putting that onto tote bags that I already have. Um, I gotta figure out the color scheme though that I wanna go for, maybe just black. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi guys, it is the next day and I just got back from getting coffee or matcha. Actually, I got a chai <laughs> with my friend who I actually haven't seen since high school and we weren't even like really close friends or anything, but I think she saw one of my stories saying that I'm in Hoboken and she now lives in Hoboken, so thought it'd be fun to meet up and it was fun. And I think we're gonna continue to like get coffee and like go on walks together and stuff. I love making new friends. It's like my new thing this year apparently. I do have like a million and one packages open behind me for my bachelorette and I want to show you what I got. The first thing is actually not specifically for my bachelorette but I am going to use it in my bachelorette gift bags that I give to my bridesmaids and you guys already know what these are because I rave about them literally all the time. They are just my magic mind shots. It comes in literally the prettiest packaging of all time. I never get sick of receiving this beautiful box. I'm obsessed. Basically in here we have 15 of the Magic Mine Productivity Matcha Shots, which I take pretty much every single day at this point, and I have a subscription with them. This is what one of them looks like. I keep them in the fridge to keep them chilled, but look at this. Oh, so pretty. It says do more, stress less. And then on the side it has the key ingredients that make this specific mood boosting matcha shot different. It says productivity elixir. It's subtly sweet. It boosts energy and focus, crushes procrastination, elevates mental clarity with 12 magical ingredients. And I love that the ingredients on here are all things that I recognize and things that I know are good for me, all natural. One of my favorite features of this productivity matcha shot are the nootropics and the adaptogens. The nootropics help you focus, which is what I really need halfway through the day when I'm starting to hit my afternoon slump. This is definitely what saves me from getting into that afternoon slump. And also the adaptogens, which help me stress less and stay more calm. I've been hearing about adaptogens every which way over the past year, but I swear by this Magic Mind Productivity Match Shot, it tastes so good. And also I just feel better after I drink it. I don't get that sort of like dependency on it though. I don't have it every single day because I do get a 15 pack subscription. And so that means I can't have it every single day, but every other day I will have my little shot and I do sip on it because of how much I like the taste. Other things that are in the Magic Mind New Elixir Patented Blend are things like organic ashwagandha, which we hear about all the time. There's turmeric, L-theanine from the matcha. I did mention this is a matcha shot, so there is a little bit of caffeine from the matcha in here, which helps me keep going throughout the day. It has vitamin B3, vitamin D3, vitamin B12, like all the good stuff for your immunity. And I was thinking about adding these to my bridesmaids goodie bags, just one in each of the bags, maybe two, if I'm feeling a little bit generous. Just because I think this could be a good thing to have, like while we're having our really fun time in New York City if anyone starts to feel like they're getting a little tired throughout the day or they need a mood booster or anyone's getting stressed like myself when I get stressed in social situations I can have one of these and it'll help. I am going to have one right now. I usually shake it and just get it all all mixed up. It's so pretty. They've been blowing up on Instagram and all over the place. I hear everyone talking about these now and I'm proud to say that I've been true to them for the past year or so and I would recommend it to literally everyone. I was just talking about these productivity match shots with my friends the other night when I got dinner with them. They were asking me like, is it really all that good? Like what's in it? And like they were so curious about it and I told them everything and I am getting them hooked on it. <laughs> you would like to try out any of these for yourself. I always have my code in the description of literally every single one of my videos, but you can use my code MonicaR20 for 20% off your order. And I also have a link in my description that you can use. You can just click on it and it'll lead you to getting a subscription pack of these Magic Mind Productivity Matcha Shots. Whether you want to take it alongside your morning coffee, take it as your second dose of caffeine in the middle of the day, or you want to phase out different sorts of caffeine sources in your life and you're trying to go for something a little bit more natural and tasty and quick, this is for you. Also, I love the top of this box. It's so cute. And then on the side it says, drink daily for a sharper mind, steady energy, and less stress, which I think we can all agree we all need. So grab one just so that you can get this box. It's so pretty. I've seen online people mixing this in with milk in order to make a little latte situation so you can enjoy it for longer, but I like sipping right out of it. Cheers. Yum. My favorite. I'm going to continue this up on this as we continue this unboxing. Okay, so that is the first thing that I went and grabbed. I'm also eating um, some samosas on the side. These are from Trader Joe's. They're not my favorite the samosas from an Indian grocery store are, are better, but they do the job. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so obsessed. I got my bridesmaids lip smackers. So I thought it'd be a cute nostalgic thing to do. And for some reason they popped up in my head. I don't know if my youngest sister will know what this is, which is concerning. These are obviously my childhood lip smacker chapsticks. The theme of these gift bags is somewhat nostalgia, somewhat wellness, somewhat just like cute things. I don't know. I just got whatever came to mind and got whatever I thought they would actually make use of because I don't want anything to go to waste. So I didn't do like the normal stuff with their name on it, like the tote bags with their names on it or like eye sleeping masks because I just don't feel like my friends would use that kind of stuff. Oh, this is actually stuff for myself. <laughs> I got a portable speaker because I wanted to have music playing at pretty much all times during my bachelorette when we're in the hotel room. I got the JBL uh, Flip 5. I guess it's waterproof because it's in water. And then I also got some new or additional batteries for both of my cameras. I also got some extra film for my Polaroid cameras because I have two. My sister also has one so we're gonna have a bunch of Polaroid cameras and just take some pictures. I don't know if my sister's bringing hers though. It's okay, we already have two here. I feel like that's all we need. It's actually for my neighbor. Whoops, I accidentally grabbed that. I'm gonna put that back. Is the lighting doing weird things right now? It's like kind of half sunny, half cloudy. Okay, back to bachelorette stuff. I have this headband. It says headband for thick hair. That's kind of funny. But I got this one for me and I got some matching ones for my bridesmaids. So like the crown things that everyone uses. Oh my gosh, do I look ridiculous? <laughs> do I like this or do I hate it? I will think about it and get back to you. The matching ones I got my bridesmaids. Those are pink and green and blue, I think. I got a bunch of different colors. I also got this matcha mood soothing mask. I've used it before and I really enjoyed it. Please focus, nice. It's from the brand um, I Do Care, which is a cute name. It's just this green mask. And I got one bottle because I don't think we need like individually packaged clay masks. And I wanted us to do clay masks if, I mean, the people who want to do it. So I got this. I feel like the lighting is really bad right now. Oh, I also got this garland, this pink garland that we could potentially hang up. Um... I don't know how much I want to do with decor because I don't want to waste anything. This is very wasteful, honestly, to just get garlands and then use it once and then throw it out. But I'm like, I don't know. Will it make the vibe good enough where it would be worth it? Now it would make me happier. I don't know. I don't know. Another maybe. If you guys had bachelorettes at any point, where did you guys go? And how was it? Did you plan it yourself? Did someone else plan it? I got these Grace and Stella eye masks, which are just like the under eye patches. And I love this packaging. It says everything is better in pink. I want this for my candles. Literally anything I buy, I'm like looking more at the packaging because that's what I'm obsessed with right now for my brand and something I need to really figure out, honestly. So cute. The theme isn't necessarily pink, but I got a lot of pink things because I think pink is cute. Definitely keeping these. Another garland situation that I'm not sure about, but the more I think about it, the more I think I would like it. I think it would be good for pictures. Maybe I can figure out a way to reuse these. Oh, these are kind of funny. These are just the little like toothpick things that you put on top or inside of drinks, um, but it has a little pearl on it. That's cute. We could put fruit on these and then put these in or on top of our mocktails. Could be fun. Oh, here they are. I got some Kodak disposable cameras because I want everyone to just take some really cute disposable pictures and we can have the memories. I think that'd be fun. Is it awkward that my mannequin is back there? Because I just keep looking at her being like, should I move her? Her booty's like in the frame at all times. She's gonna stay there for now because I'm comfy here, but just wondering, let me know. Plus Amazon box. I'm also waiting on a Lulu's order that will hopefully come in by today. If it doesn't, hopefully it comes in early tomorrow. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be missing out on a really cute couple of outfits that um, I'm working with them on like making content for those outfits. But I really wanna wear them to my bachelorette because they're so bachelorette perfect. <sighs> I hope they come in. I got these pink solo cups. These are so cute, by the way. There will be minimal, if any, drinking at this bachelorette. None of us are into really 
partying or drinking anymore. Um, so if that's what you're imagining, don't imagine it because that's not what's going to happen. It's going to be cutesy, wellness, wholesome things, honestly. <laughs> also got some Pocky for us. If um, you haven't tried Pocky, it's delicious. Maybe it's just nostalgic, but I think it's really good. And these are the strawberry flavored ones because I wanted the pink packaging, but my favorites are honestly the, like, um, the, I think they're the original, the red box with chocolate. So yum. Last but not least, I got this from Sheertex. They are just nude stockings because I didn't have any and I wasn't sure how cold it was going to be and I wanted to make sure I was prepared wearing that like sparkly mini dress that I had made. I definitely wanted it to like be comfortable and also pretty so I made it a mini dress but it's also still like kind of the winter time um, so I wanted to make sure I had some sort of stockings to put underneath. Beautiful. They are the Nude Sheer Rip Resist Tights and this is the color that you can see in there. I don't want to take it all the way out because I don't want to yet. But that's that's crazy. This image right here with stockings, it, it freaks me out. It makes me like cringe a little bit. But I'm like, wow, they must be really strong. I do already have two pairs. Yeah, two pairs of sheer tech stockings and they're both black. I wanted like a nude one. So that's what I got. There's a huge fly in the other room. It just like went past me. So I grabbed this. I don't know if I'm gonna have the courage to kill myself or if I'm gonna call Josh to do it. I'm kinda nervous. But I'm surrounded by like way too much stuff at the moment. Um, it's kind of upsetting. So let's clean this all up and then I think we'll do totes and make the mini, I mean um, the maxi skirt that I need for day two's outfit. cutting out the skirt panels for the little maxi skirt I want to make and I didn't have enough fabric to make a full maxi skirt so I think I'm going to make like a midi length skirt or however long it ended up being with the amount of fabric I had and then add little ruffles at the bottom potentially with the little bits of scrap fabric that I have left hopefully that'll still look good um I am going to insert a lining even though the pattern doesn't include a lining, it includes a facing for the waist area, but I'm just going to include like a full lining because this main fabric is kind of see-through. So that's what's happening right now. here's my dilemma this is the outfit i wanted to wear for saturday i have the little shirt that i made in the last video was it this video who knows at this point i think it was this video um but i like the top but it's long so i need to like tuck it in a little bit because if it's like on its own it looks like this which i don't think is the vibe so then i was like maybe i'll tuck it in a little bit i didn't finish the skirt fully i just tried it on to make sure the sizing's right. Also, the skirt is not looking great. <laughs> I am not that good with sewing silk. As you can see, it's like way too not good. <laughs> and I cut it on bias, which is why it's like stretching out too much. My needle is puckering the fabric. Like I don't have the right equipment to be working on this. And it was expensive fabric, so I'm like mad that it's not coming out nice. And I want to give up. <laughs> I also need to make one more outfit for Sunday. I don't need to, I want to, but I can't think of like what I want to do for that or if I like even want to do anything for that. I don't know, guys. What do I do? I could fix the skirt. Obviously the lining is not cut at the bottom, it's not hemmed. It's also not even hemmed at the top. So I would need to do that. I can also fix this by just like taking it in a little bit. And then is this cute or is this like not that cute? I also have no other white outfits. Like even if I wanted to like not wear these things and just wear something that I own, it's not truly a possibility because I don't own any other white nice things. Like I have a white t-shirt. I have a white pair of like trousers that I wear to work. 
put on our trousers my bachelorette getting a little frustrated but i mean the top looks cute I'm pretty happy with it honestly it's just like a little too long and that's what's like messing with me maybe if i did this with like a denim skirt that i have from abercrombie but then it wouldn't be all white which is fine like none of these rules matter it's all made up but i can wear denim if i wanted to to my bachelorette i think i'll try to fix the skirt and that'll be it i'll consider the last outfit and see what i want to do with that okay so the skirt is not working out and it's frustrating me so bad <sighs> i'm not gonna make it i'm just gonna leave it maybe i'll upcycle it into something else but it's frustrating me so much that I'm not doing this right and the fabric is being annoying and it's my fault because like I don't actually know how to use silk and how to sew with silk I just thought I could just do it and not do too much research and not practice and now it is bad and it's frustrating me and it's been probably three hours at this point I've been working on this this should have been a really quick project but I'm nowhere near done so I'm not working on it I think I'm just gonna wear like a denim skirt with that sweater that I made and it'll be fine and for brunch I think I'll wear like something that I already own maybe those white trousers <laughs> I was talking about or something um I just don't think I could sew anymore tonight and it's frustrating me so that's what's happening I do think I am actually going to make some tote bags for my bridesmaids though because I think I know how to do that and it's gonna come out good 100% so I'm gonna make that and that'll hopefully calm me down because I'm pretty upset. I wish like I could have made every single one of my outfits, but that's not how it worked out. So I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. <laughs> morning guys it's the next day i really just couldn't do it yesterday <laughs> as you probably could tell it's a new day i have my matcha which honestly is the real reason why i am alive and well also i notice when i get some sleep when i'm like frustrated in the nighttime and then i just get some sleep i end up feeling so much better in the morning a lot of times what actually solves my problems is just stepping away from the problem and stop trying to fix it get some sleep have a matcha think it over just like leave it be and go and do something like literally anything else and then come back to it after some time and then i feel refreshed and like ready to take on the the challenge or the conflict or like whatever it is problem is that i don't have an outfit for sunday it is currently friday my bachelorette is today i do have six hours until i actually have to head over and it literally only takes me like 30 40 minutes to get there everything is working in my favor honestly <laughs> i'm going to make a dress that i've already made before that's like that was my first issue going into making that silk dress i decided to last minute try a new skill which i do not have yet i need to practice it but i'm gonna make this dress that i've already made for actually one of my collections from two years ago it's a shirred top. It has like a tie-up sleeve. I might change up the tie-up sleeve for like a big poof sleeve because I feel like that could be kind of like bridal. I'm going to do like a tiered skirt. It's going to have like three different tiers. It'll be cute. That's the goal. And I know I can do that in six hours, less than six hours, honestly. So that's, that's the game plan. And I'm feeling good about it. Can you tell I'm a morning person <laughs> that like in the nighttime, I just cry. And if I'm trying to do anything remotely artistic or creative or like that requires 
a good amount of effort and I'm not able to do it, I immediately like shut down. But in the morning time, I'm like always up for the challenge and ready to get started my day. The sun is shining. It's actually a beautiful day, which is such a relief. I think the rest of this weekend isn't supposed to be that nice, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. I'm like kind of not that upset about it, which is strange because the weather always affects my mood so like strongly. But I'm happy because we have a hotel and we can just like go back and play games if like we don't feel like walking around in the rain. That reminds me, I should pack my umbrella. Yeah, that's the vibe today. I feel like I should just get right into the dress so I don't waste or procrastinate any more time. What is happening here? Truly, what is happening? I tried this new shampoo and conditioner because my shampoo and conditioner were make they were making my um, scalp really oily and I tried a new clarifying shampoo as well, but it made like my actual like the lengths of my hair really dry i know you're supposed to follow up a clarifying shampoo with a really strong moisturizing conditioner which i i thought i did maybe i didn't keep it in for long enough because my hair is dry and then my scalp is still kind of oily so that didn't work out i'm gonna like shower and like get ready after i make this dress just because this morning i felt like getting right into it and not like spending too much time on self-care like right in the be the beginning of the morning i'd rather do it closer to when i have to leave so let's continue this matcha and make this dress. By the way, most things are packed up. I have a big suitcase over there with all of my stuff. I have like some more stuff there that hasn't been packed yet, but I'm feeling good. Like I cleared out all of my memory cards. I have all of my battery packs charged for all my cameras. Like everything is good to go. So no need to stress. I'm telling that to myself. <laughs> little update i decided to use this organza like shimmery organza as the sleeves i'm going to make it a shirt top with big big poofy organza sleeves i think that could be cute and call it a day at that most likely if i end up having more time and energy after i finish this then i'll make a skirt portion of this otherwise i'll just pair this with a skirt or pants that i already have I'm trying to go easy on myself also i want to leave some time to like make sure I have everything and like not rush with packing up like all the last minute stuff so that's the move for right now and I'm really happy with it because I feel like this organza is going to make it re look really nice this is actually from Josh's grandma it's going to be a big big poofy sleeve let's see if I could show you it's like hard to tell because it's like turning in on itself but it's going to be it's going to be poofy and fun okay and then if I end up liking this more than I like the little like sweater top that I made for Saturday, then I might wear this Saturday instead because Saturday's gonna be a full day of stuff. I don't know if the organza is gonna be like super uncomfortable. Okay, the verdict is that the sleeve is way too big. <laughs> no, that's not good. But this part looks good. It's a little bit loose around the waist, which I can deal with another time. And after I iron it, it'll tighten a bit. But this needs to be fixed. So I think I'm going to, like, I don't even know if I like the long sleeve aspect. I feel like I definitely need to take off half of this and then like shorten it by like like basically 10 inches. <laughs> yeah, well, that's odd that it came out really big. <laughs> okay, I think this is much better. I turned it into a short sleeve, so it's like a big poofy like half sleeve, three quarter sleeve, and I like it a lot better. I did accidentally attach it to the bottom part of the top, so I'm gonna have to take it off and put it on this side. I also have to hem this but otherwise I like it. I could have taken off more fabric from the bottom, but honestly, it works for right now. And I like that it's really puffy. Here's the final look. Yay. Honestly, yesterday I was like, there's no way I'm making a third outfit. Like I couldn't do it, but this morning I really pulled through. I need to iron this out so that it lays flatter and then also to get all of the like shirring to be even i need to like steam it but i think the shorter sleeves look good it makes me look like a fairy like a princess 
um, the back is just like a normal shirt thing. Also needs to iron that to like flatten it out. And I'm thinking we can go with matching white trousers, which I know yesterday, yesterday I said I didn't want to wear trousers, but I think it could be kind of cute and like make it look a little bit more sophisticated because this is kind of like girly and youthful. I don't know if my white trousers are exactly the same shade of white though, which is what I would be worried about. So I'm going to look at that and see if it looks good. If not, I'll go with like jeans or like black faux leather pants. Could be cute. Yeah, my white trousers are definitely not the same shade of white. So these are a no-go. I showered and got ready a little bit. I still need to do more makeup. But while I was in the shower, my Lulu's package came in. I'm so, so grateful that it came in before I left today. So now I have some really cute things to wear let me show you so i did want to make pretty much everything that i wore for my bachelorette but there's one night where my sisters planned it and they recently told me that it's just going to be pjs that's what's going to be needed for that night and i was like i don't really want to make myself pjs all that much i wasn't too interested in that at the moment <laughs> i wanted to focus on like the daytime outfits to make like from scratch so i got some stuff from lulu's they did send this over and i'm so grateful and also there should be a pair of shoes in here that i'm really excited about these are the pjs these are the most bridal thing ever but i'm living for it oh gosh <laughs> oh my gosh so cute okay basic white satin top but look at the sleeves i'm obsessed oh so cute and i can rewear these for my wedding day if i wanted to or the night before my wedding because we'll be staying at an airbnb and then the pants like the matching pants same material and the bottom hem also has the little feathers oh, i'm so excited these are probably too long for me honestly they're not that bad i can't wait oh you will see this all on instagram by the way um, if you don't follow me there and you're interested in what these all look like. Oh, and this is actually not for my bachelorette, but I thought it would be cute for, like, a crafting outfit. I've been meaning to get myself, like, a cute little, like, work jumpsuit. Cute. Collared. Okay, you can't even really see anything. Let me go over here. How cute. And it's, like, cinched at the waist so that, for short people like me, I could cinch it here and bring the legs up. Oh, I love the linen. I think it's actually going to fit. A lot of jumpsuits don't fit me, so excited about this. And then for the shoes, oh my gosh, I hope, I don't regret this, but I love the way they looked online, and I'm hoping they look just as good on me. Okay, they're very comfortable, and they look good, so I'm very happy about that. The heel isn't too high. Um, I won't be able to rock back my heels because if you can see it's like a little bit slanted and I normally like rock back onto my heels so I have to remember not to do that but these are cute I'm gonna wear them pretty much all my outfits except for the first night I'm gonna wear like nicer heels which I already have oh very happy this came in on time they also sent me some like plain white heels that I don't think I'm gonna bring but these are definitely good like just to have oh my gosh these might be my wedding heels they're a good height they're plain it's satin which we know that's what my wedding dress looks like. It's a little high. Whoa, it made me like significantly taller. Like, this is me before it. This is me on the heel. <laughs> All right, well, that's something to think about for later. I literally don't know why I'm nervous. It's literally just my two sisters and my two friends. And we're just hanging out for a weekend. So I don't know why I'm feeling nervous. I think it's honestly because I never thought I'd have a bachelorette because I never thought I'd be the kind of person who wanted one. But I mean, it's just a hangout. It's not like a huge party or anything. And it's an excuse to get people together. So I did dry my hair and I put on some makeup. So I'm pretty much good to go. I need to change into some pants though. I think I'll just wear this white t-shirt on the way there and maybe jeans. Let me show you what I packed up in my big checked bag suitcase over here. Okay, starting on this side, I actually realized I forgot to show these to you guys, but I got these from Lulu's as well. They're just some cute bows this one's a tool bow with the little pearls on them that could be good for sunday's brunch and then i also have this huge oversized organza bow which i think is so cute so pretty i might wear it all day saturday we'll see because i feel like my saturday outfit which is like my sweater that i made and like a denim midi skirt it's kind of like simple so this could like make it look a little bit more extravagant i guess and this is also from lulu's ironically but it's from a month ago i think they sent it to me it's so cool it has it's like a beaded bag 
and I think I'll wear it with my sparkly dress. Under here, I have all my Azazi bridesmaids dresses because they haven't tried on the bridesmaids dresses yet because they got sent to me, like my address. So I'm gonna bring it to them and then I'm also altering the bridesmaid dresses for them. So I'm gonna like bring pins and safety pins to mark up where I need to alter things. These are my outfits I'm going to wear. So this is the shirt I made this morning. This is a black skirt I'm going to pair with it. And then underneath I have the sweater that I made and a denim mini, midi skirt, you can't really see it. And then I have this JBL, um, portable speaker which i got from amazon literally a day ago and i tested it out and it sounds so good i'm really excited about that and then i have these t-shirts that i made all of my bridesmaids in the, the last video i believe these are pj pants that i already have from girlfriend collective these are the lulu satin pjs with the feathers and that's a sneak peek at the bridesmaid dress i've actually already showed the bridesmaid dresses so it's not a secret on here if you want to look back at that video and then in here i have all my undergarments and i have my magic mine productivity matcha shots in here i'm gonna give them to my friends i just wanted to keep them like in their own little pouch and then in here i have my sparkly dress because the glitter literally gets everywhere so I'm just like keeping it in its own little pouch. Then in here, I have all of the bridesmaids gifts as well as like some of my own stuff. So this is all my makeup and like beauty products. I also made this pouch, of course, <laughs> from Monica's Collective. Oh, and these are also my nice shoes. Um, they're Kate Spade and I wore them to my engagement party. Got some pink solo cups and umbrella because it's supposed to rain this weekend. I have my blow dryer comb thing. Um, in case you want to wash my hair. The Pocky. These are slippers that I don't remember if I showed or not, but I decided to get some new slippers because look how white these are. And then look at my other ones over there. If you can see, like, they're basically gray. Um, so I got some new ones, both for this bachelorette for pictures and also, like, just to have as my normal house slippers. And then all the other, like, bachelorette gift stuff is, like, in that corner. The lip smackers, the eye patches face mask. This is my jewelry in here. This stuff's packed up. Oh, and underneath here are the tote bags, which I'm not even sure if I showed you guys the final tote bags, but I'll insert a picture or I'll show you the footage a little bit later. And that's basically it. I think I'm just going to get changed and clean up a little bit because my room is a wreck <laughs> and then just wait till it's time to go, which is in just an hour. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching this prep with me for my bachelorette video. I know it's like slightly different than my normal stuff, but hopefully... You still enjoy it if you got this far. I will be vlogging my bachelorette, which I'm excited about. I don't know like how much footage I'll get because I want to be in the moment. And every time with my friends and family, I always like forget to vlog even when I mean to do it. I just like get caught up in the moment and then I never pick up the camera, but I'm hoping that I actually vlog this weekend. I'm bringing like all my cameras, like my film cameras, Polaroid, my Canon G7X, this big camera, like there's no excuse. I have to film. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the bachelorette. Why can I not say that word? I will see you in the bachelorette vlog. Bye.